Absolutely do not trust anyone with this ever. All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, what we're going to talk about is something that I took for granted. Do not trust a single person that tells you anything. Always double check it for yourself, and I'm going to tell you exactly what happened. So, same situation. I'm locked up right here. I went to a house. We were changing out receptacles, turning off circuits. So what I did, and I'm going to show you exactly what I did. Now, I'm going to use this. This is the one that I use, Santronics. I really love this tick tracer. I also use on some of my videos a Klein tester, and this is the one I just leave here at my house. This is the one that I use. It, I love both of them. Both of them have different prices. Both of them are different. I mean, you can see this one has a flashlight on it. So anyway, I'm going to show you exactly what I did. And this is how it went. I yelled up to the guy, is the breaker off? He gave me the thumbs up. I went over here and I checked on the hot. I'm going to bring you closer so you can see. One way to check a tick tracer is you can rub it on your arm, even on your hand, on your regular skin. You see it lighting up? That way you know that at least this thing is semi working with something. What's going on guys? So I broke into this video because I was editing the video and I realized that I really made a mistake. Instead of letting it go out into YouTube land and get a bunch of questions about it, I'm going to clarify uh, what I was talking about. Now, I'd mentioned that in the video, which was over several months ago, that if you rub your tick tracer on your arm, you, as you just saw seconds ago, that's the best way to test it. And what I was trying to say is, and I didn't, I guess, say it the right way. So what I do when I turn it on, I make sure that this is working first. And then I go to a known receptacle and I test it on a live known circuit. All right, this doesn't really do anything except say that this is actually going to beat for you. But it's always best just to always make sure that you go to a live circuit that you know is live, whether you plug something into it first to make sure, and then you test it to make sure it's hot, okay? Don't rely, oh, well, it's working, because that is not a good test. I was just really, I could have I took that completely out, but I want you guys to know that I do this a lot, just to make sure that my pin is working. But when I need to make sure that something is hot or not, I always test on a live known circuit. Now that's dead, obviously, but I'm just letting you guys know. Always make sure you take that time to go to a known live circuit don't don't take that and say oh it's it's on and it works it's good because that's not a good test i'm just letting you know so i just wanted to come on here and tell you that you make sure that you do everything right because just take two more seconds it can save your life all right back to the video see ya all i did was push it in the hot side and i started taking the receptacle loose and i never checked the neutral Look, look what happened here, guys. You see that? The hot is not showing anything, but the neutral's hot. Now, why is that? It's because this receptacle was miswired. And had I always, I always preached safety first. Had I just used my circuit tester, I would have knew right away. Can you guys see this tester? You have two lights on. You have this one on here, you have this one on here and this one right here. Let's look and see what that says. When you have two on, you have the hot and neutral reverse, guys. So I took it upon myself to assume that this was dead. In reality, I got myself almost shocked. Luckily, I always wear gloves when I'm taking off receptacles. So, you know, I didn't. But when I pulled it out and I took the neutral side off, I realized, uh-oh. You know, something right here. And I saw right then and there that there was a black on the neutral and black on the hot, a white on the hot. So I knew right away that was the issue. So what I'm trying to tell you guys is this. This thing is only good for just definitely testing. So when you guys go to any receptacle that you have in your house, definitely go here and go here because you want to make sure that if it is miswired, you know. I highly recommend getting one of these and one of these also, but you know, it doesn't take but a second to see that it's messed up and it could potentially save you from getting shocked. So even though this is a very short video today, guys, it's a very important one, you know, it takes a second to get hurt and a lifetime 
to get over guys. I hope that helped a little bit guys, bring some clarity to you guys. Definitely double check. If this content has given you guys any value, please make sure it's your second chance to hit that thumbs up. Hit the bell notification to all, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a great day.